Because we're, uh, we're Canada and we're Canadian radio station, it's uh, part of our job is to find new Canadian talent and develop it and try to find the next Trouble Chargers and the next Killjoys and, you know, the next Sloans. That's, that's, you know, because that's what we need that's, and that's what we do and that's why we're doing this because there's lots of great music out there and uh, it's our job to go out and find it. What makes my ears perk up is the sound of a friend telling me about a band. I think the best source of music has always been the people you know. You can't see every band. There's too many shows, too many clubs, too many records. But somebody you know heard something. So when somebody whose opinion you trust tells you to check this out, odds are it's going to be something good. And I've always really um, relied upon a great network of friends and people just tipping me on to stuff. There is no one more deserving of this award than Bookie. Since the moment he left this plane till now, I think about him every single day. People would often ask me about what made Bookie so special and stand out about everybody else in radio. And my answer would always be the same. It's because he cared. And we need the next generations to have Bookie's name whispered to them in the halls about what he meant and what he did so that they can help perpetuate his spirit. This honor will forever immortalize the legend that was Dave Bookman, for it was the embodiment of what this community is and should be. He was the best of us, but he was also one of us. And now it's up to us to carry that torch. I just try to be myself and be passionate about what I'm talking about. Because if it's not exciting me, how can I expect anyone else to be engaged? When that mic goes on, whatever I'm talking about is what I'm passionate about. Hope that translates across the air, stimulates something, and comes back. So if you're honest, if you're passionate, and you don't steer them wrong, you hope that you develop a trust and relationship, and, and you know, people find you worthwhile their time. This city's music scene and this entire country's music scene wouldn't be the same without him. His capacity to help was only matched by his capacity to love. And he had a heart that was bigger than anyone I've ever met. And he cared so deeply and passionately about his friends and community that you almost took it for granted until it was gone. This is beautiful. This is amazing. I am so happy we are all here together for Bookie. Uh, today we are here to honor, of course, the legendary Dave Bookman with the unveiling of the Heritage Toronto plaque. The corner of Spadina and Queen was, uh, it was Bookie's home. This, is, this was his place. It was where art was created. It was where he introduced so many young musicians to the culture and influence of the independent music scene. The Horseshoe and Bookie's name, their names are synonymous. They both have the same don't try too hard feel. You know, the, uh, the checkered floors, the black rimmed glasses. I still cannot imagine being here without Bookie being here. But I'm really happy that we all are today. My name's Tim Meck. I played in a band called The Bookmen with Dave Bookman. I met him in 1984. I was working at a gas station and Dave drove in uh, blaring the Violent Femmes on his car radio and uh, we kind of hit it off, ended up talking music. Shortly after, Dave decided that he was going to quit his day job and that we were going to start a band, which we did. All you touch turns to lead. We made a record, released it in 1987, called Volume 1 Delicatessen. And uh, that little gem is uh, pictured on uh, the Heritage Toronto plaque that is now soon to be erected outside the Horseshoe Tavern at 370 Queen Street West. It's amazing that all of these people, probably the coolest people in Toronto, showed up today. July 26, 2022, to celebrate Dave and, and unveil this amazing Heritage Toronto plaque. There's so much that so many people can say about Dave. He truly was one in a million. We all miss him dearly. This whole event is will probably be remembered for a long time. When he began the new music nights, those Tuesdays were probably some of the most fun nights of my life. Every Tuesday when I'm here working, and I just, you know, I feel the positive ghost of David here. He was a true mensch, and I love him, and I miss him dearly. Bookie was voice for the underdog, and if he believed that your heart was pure and your intent was to get great music into the ears of people, he would leave no stone unturned to help you do that. 
Bookie was a, a huge supporter of us and he helped us out so much. You know, radio was a scary place for us as a young band and he kind of came in as like a true music fan and just to be able to bond over music and over your love in the midst of a chaotic industry, it's like really special when somebody that's in it for the right reasons sort of like opens the door for you. There's no one more deserved of this honor and award. He was the greatest. Somebody that walked in between the shadows and had his own way about him and was in a league all his own and fought diligently for live music, not only in this city, but in this entire country. And for him to finally get the recognition that he deserves in order for the next generations to uh, you know, maybe learn about his spirit and what he did and who he was, I think that's incredibly important. He's the best and I love him and I miss him every single day. I have no interest in, in finding something else to do. I love what I do, enjoy what I do, and I don't ever want to be in a situation when it come, where music, where it comes to winning or losing or profit or loss, that really doesn't interest me. I want to be on the side of just championing things that I enjoy and things in life that I enjoy and trying to bring a smile to people's face. That just makes me happy, is when I can make you smile, I'm smiling inside and that's the best feeling in the world.